So I'm sitting here at the house and I'm going to do a YouTube video on my terminal tackle box. And I'm here watching YouTube. As you can see, got all my rods and stuff over there. But so, uh, fished a moment on YouTube. Check it out. Very good information. Um, I was checking out a video right, right before I went live here. So let's get into my terminal tackle box. It's a Guggen Squad Bass Mafia box. And all my terminal tackle is in here. So we're going to open up and show you what we got in here. And I'll basically run through what I have. So starting at the top left, I got my um, pegs. You know, just regular fishing pegs. For Texas rigs, right? So I got two compartments of pegs for my Texas rigs. Then we got a, that's a, actually a swim bait hook. So I got some swim bait hooks in there and then I got my, um, they call this an offset straight shank hook, which I use a lot of. So most of the top compartments are those same hooks. A couple different brands. However, this is my um, EWG hooks. That's a light wire EWG. And then I got some super line um, heavy wire, uh, three aught. They call that a super line EWG, extra wide gap hook. So I got some extra wide gaps there. And then back, once again, those, I'll use that for my uh, worm fishing straight. It's a straight shank offset worm hook is what they call that all the way across the top is the same thing basically the same thickness hooks and everything then you get to here i got some vmc dominator shaky heads that's all i use for shaky heads so you're going to see a lot of those in here that's a i believe a quarter ounce So then I got some, all those are on a safety pin. Those are EWG hooks, light wire. So in reality, that doesn't belong there. The shaky heads go here. And then I got, this does not go there. Shaky heads go here. Now look at that, I even get to rearrange. Then over here, I got my little small um drop shot or wacky hooks tiny hooks all for i mean just small octopus hooks then i got some weight split shots octopus hooks i got some there's a humdingers um screw in blades willow leaf and colorado got those right there i think keith poche actually invented those um, so I had to get some of those. So with that being said, come on across VMC Dominator Shake Head, VMC Dominator Shake Head. That's a Ned Rig hook that does not go there. Ned Rig, they go right here. VMC Dominator Shake Head. Then I got some that doesn't go there. These are my big uh, Berkeley Fusion, um, Berkeley Fusion hooks. EWG, that's for my like my Mondo worm and my 10 inch zoom worm. So, gotta have a big hook, two compartments of those. Then you're coming into my flipping hooks, which I'm doing flipping hooks whenever I'm using a Texas rig creature bait. Snail knot, get that cavitation effect, and um, set the hook on them. So, all these are flipping hooks. That doesn't go there. Yeah, the, yeah, dude, I got an extra compartment of um, worm hooks. Then I got my weights on the side. Weights, tungsten and lead. Um, these are for my trailer hooks. Older trailer hooks, sprinter bait trailer hooks. Ned rigs, I told you those. And then these are brand new. Strike King. Um, use that, put like a swim bait on it. But it's um, got that keeper on it. 
heavy, heavy swim bait jig, more shaky heads, um, spot remover shaky heads, which I don't use a lot of. There's a swing head jig, swim bait hooks, uh, flick shakes, flick shakes. I need to get some more flick shakes. And then that's also another swim bait deal. But that's like a Demiki rig. And last but not least, on the far end, what do I got here? I got a little underspin. Uh oh, a little underspin. I'm gonna have to be. I forgot I had that. I gotta use that. And I know y'all have never seen these before I log off. Check that out. A little swivel for like a mojo rig. That's tight. So. That's my terminal uh, terminal tackle box, right? Guggen Squad, Fast Mafia. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.